hi guys i welcome you all back to my channel my name is aisha in today's video i will be showing you how to draft princess bustier that with goddess thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified stay tuned to the end of the tutorial So I have my pattern paper here with me. So we'll be drawing the starting point. This is my starting point. And I'll be taking the full length measurements. The length I'm using is 25. So now I will be taking the chest line, bust line, under bust, and waist line. So we'll come here. The chest line I'm using is 8 inches. The bust line I'm using is 9, nine and a half. For the chest line, I will come up here. The shoulder I'm using is 14 inches. You divide your shoulder by 2. So 14 divided by 2, that will give me 7. And I will come down by 8 inches, which is this. So this is our chest line, 8 inches. So I will come here, I will measure 7 inches. So this is 7 inches. So I will draw the line upward to meet this. So now, I will straighten this. So this is our chest line and this is our bust line. So now for the under bust. The under bust I'm using is 13 inches. I will be adding half inch to it, making 13 and half. So you come here. You measure your 13 and half. You add half inch to your under bust. So now I'll be taking my waist line. The waist line I'm using is 16 and half. 16 and half. So this is my waist line. So here I will be taking my neck. I'm making use of three by three. So three inches for the width and three inches for the depth. So I'm making use of three by three. So round neck. So this is the neck. For our shoulder slope. Here, yeah, I will come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. Now, I will be taking the circumference measurement. The bust I'm using is 40 inches. You divide your bust by four. So, this is 40. I have 10 here. So, your bust and your chest line it is the same. And at the waist line and the under bust, I'll be making use of the waist measurement at the under bust for now. So, and the waist 
measurement I'm using is 34 inches. So I'll come here, I'll measure my 34. So this 34, you divide your 34 by 4 also. So this is 34. So I'll come to the waistline, same thing. So this 34. So now I will shape it. So at the down aspect here, I'll be making use of the hip measurement. The hip I'm using is 42. You divide your hip also by 4. So this 42. So from there, I'll shape it. So you can see. So this is our body. So we're taking our circumference measurement. We'll come to the arm O length. For us to get our midpoint, so we have seven inches left here. So our midpoint is three and a half. You divide whatever you have here, you divide it by two. So our midpoint is three and a half. You can see this three and a half. At the midpoint here, I'll be going inward by one inch. So this is one inch. So from there, I'll connect my hand O. Now we'll be taking our dart. For you to take your dart, you must know the boss palm of your client. So the boss palm I'm using, that is the nipple to nipple measurement. The boss palm I'm using is 8 inches. You divide your boss palm by 2. So I'll come to the bust line. So I'll measure 8. I'll divide my boss palm by 2. You come to the bust line. You divide your boss palm by 2. So 8 divided by 2, that will give me 4. So this is four, and I will take that measurement at the under bust and at the waistline also. So you can see, so you come here, you take that measurement downward. So you take the measurement downward to the hip line. So this is it. So from here, this is the under bust. This is the waist line and this is the hip line. So I will draw a straight line to meet it. For our front aspect of our blouse, at the bust line, you will come down by one inch. So I'll come here. So I'll come down by one inch. This is our bust line. So I'll come down by this is one inch. You can see. So you come down by one inch. And you draw a straight line to meet that. So now we'll come to the waist line. The dart I'm using is one inch. You divide your dart by two. So one inch divided by that will give me half half inch. That's 0 0.5. So you make use of a 0 0.5 at the right side and at the left side. So this is it. So you can see. So this is it. You can see. So I will come to the hip line. From the hip line, I will be going upward by three inches. So I will come upward by three inches from the hip line. So this is it. So from here, we will connect our dots to this point and. So you can see, so this is our dart. I'm making use of side dart also. So I'll be making use of side dart. So the side dart I'll be used, I'll be making use of one and a half for my side dart. So, and this is our boss point. This is it. So from here, I'll come to this side here. I'll measure one and a half that I'm using for my side that you come to the bust line from your bust line this is the bust line under the bust line so you can see so I'll measure one and a half downward so this is one and a half you can see this is one and a half so from there I'll draw my dots I'll come here I'll go backward by one inch so this is one inch 
So from here, I will draw my darts to this point, my side darts. Let's see. So this is my side darts. So this is our basic body. So we have our basic body now. now so now for us to create our princess bustier darts, so I'll come here from this boss point to this point. So I will draw my line. So this way. You can see. So this is it. So you can see it. So now I will come to this side here. I will come here. This shoulder line. You see this place? You come here. I will measure two inches. So this two inches, you can see. So this two inches. So I will draw my two inches. I will draw a straight line to meet it. So you can see. So from here. I'll come here, I'll measure three and a half inch, this same three and a half inch that I'm using here. So I'll measure it here also, so you can see. So I'll measure that three and a half inch, so this is it. So I'll draw a straight line to meet it, so you can see. So this is three and a half inch, so you can see, so this is it. So I'll come to this boss point here now. This boss point, so I'll come up by one inch. So I'll go upward by one inch. This is one inch, you can see. So sorry for this. So this line is a mistake. So this one is a mistake. So you measure your two inches from here. You can see from here. You measure your two inches this way from here, from this point to this point, you can see. So this is it, you can see. So, and we draw the line to meet this, you can see. So you draw the line to meet this one inch that will go upward with. So now I'll create my new arm O. So I'll be creating my new arm O. So this is my new. You connect this to this point. You can see. So this is my new arm O. You can see. So this is my new arm O. So now I will come to the under bust. We need to tighten our bust here. So at the Honda bust here, I will be making use of two inches for the darts. So I will make use of one and a half at the arm O side, this side, one and a half, and I will make use of half inch at this center side. So I'll come here. You can see so from here, from this point, you measure one and a half. So this is one and a half. So, and I will come here, I'll measure half inch. So making two inches. So this is it, you can see. So now we'll come to the boss point, this boss point here. So I'll measure is 0 0.25. Is 0 0.25. It's not up to half inch and it's not up to one inch. It's 0 0.25. You can see my here, you can see it. So our measure is 0 0.25. This is 0 0.25. So this is it. You can see it. So you go backward to the arm or side. You can see. So from there, I will be shaping. So you can just use your hand to shape it. So I'll come here. I'll use my hand to shape it. So I'll give it a curve. So I'll come here. I'll give it a curve shape. So. You can see, so you give it a core shape. So now I will curve it to meet this. So You can see, so this is our curve. You can see it from here. You bring this up to meet this. You can see. 
and just join it together this way. You can see it. So this is it. So now we need to tighten it. So you draw your line to this point and you draw from here to this point so you can see it so you can see so this is it so you can see so this side this side is going out and all this side too is going out you can see so now what we do now we need to take all those measurements so you note them so you come here so you come to this under bust so what you have there so i have three inches here you can see so i have three inches that is going out here so i'll add it back to this under bust so here also at the waist i have one and a half you can see you can just write it down somewhere so at the waistline i have one and a half that is going out and at the under bust i have three inches because all these measurements you are still going to add it back when placing it on the main fabric so that it won't be short of material so you had all these measurements back when placing it on the main fabric so here here we we'll come here so we have two inches here you can see so that two inches will be adding it back to this bust line you had that two inches back to this bust line so that you won't be short of material so and here too is going out this is our side that so is going out so you can see so this is our side that so you can just come here for our side that so you need to shape it this way so that when cutting it, we have excess material at the side. You need to shape it this way so that you have excess material at the side. That's the reason why I shape it this way. So now I'll be cutting it out. Now I'll start from the down aspect. So this is it. So we need to close our tabs. So you close your tabs this way. Okay. So so we close our tabs this way, and you use your masking tape to tape it down. You can see. So this is it. You know, at the side here. We have two pieces at the side here. So at this side, I'm still going to cut this into two. So I'll cut this into two. For us to cut it into two, we'll come to the underbust. This is the underbust. So we divide this, whatever you have here, you divide it into two. So I have three inches, so I'll divide it into two. So this is it. So we come to the arm also. So you measure what you have at the arm o. So I have 4.7 inches here. So I have 4.7 inches here. So I can just make use of 2 inches. So I'll come here. So I'll make use of 2 inches at this side. So I'll make use of 2 inches at this side. So I'll be drawing this upward. So you place your Place it this way. You can see. You can see. 
so you place it this way you can see it so come to the down aspect here also so at the down aspect here we have six inches so at the down aspect here we have six inches so i'll come here i'll be making use of three inches so i will divide it into two so this is it so you can see from here so now you can see it so you can see what we have now so now i'll be cutting it out This is it. We have three pieces at one side. So we have six pieces at the front and six pieces at the back also. So now I will be cutting out the goddess that will be in between the pieces. So I will be cutting the goddess out now. Goddess is a triangle pieces that you insert in between your blouse or skirt for it to make it flare. So something that you insert in your blouse, it might be blouse, it might be sleeve, it might be shirt. So you insert it. So for it to make it flare, for us to cut out our goddess, you will come to this from the down aspect here. From the down aspect here, I'll come here so you can see. You take your measurement to the waist line. You can see this is the waistline. You can see. So this is the waistline. You take your measurement from the down aspect here to the waistline. So this is the waistline. So we have eight and a half inch here. So this is eight and a half. So I will be picking my pieces now that I will use in cutting out the goddess. You fold your material into two like this, this way. So and you have a starting point. So this is my starting point you can see so from there you measure from this point from this point you measure eight and a half your eight and a half inch downward so you measure eight and a half downward so this is eight and a half you can see so you measure it this way so you can see so this is it so this is eight and a half. This is eight and a half. You can see it. So this is eight and a half. I will just come here. I will make it a straight line to this point. Mm -hmm. You can see. So from here, I'll measure my eight and a half all round. This is it. So now I will be cutting it out. So. You can see. So this is it. You can see. So you bring it this way. So this, this is it. You have it this way. You can see it. So you can see it, you can see the shape. So this is how you, you are going to place it. You saw it at this side and at this side. You will cut eight pieces of this on this particular blouse that we are cutting. So you cut eight pieces of this. So now I'll be drafting the back aspect. Okay? This is my back aspect. So I've drafted it out. So let me explain it. So, you know, at the front aspect, we we'll make use of 25 inch for the length. So I make use of 25 inches for the front aspect of our blouse. And at the back aspect, I'm making use of 23 and a half. 23 and a half. Let me take the measurements so I can see. So this is it. 
I'm making use of 23 and a half. The reason why I'm making use of 23 and a half at the back aspect is that, you know, at the front aspect, we had side that to hit. The side that that we had to hit is one and a half inch side that. We had one and a half inch side that to hit at the front aspect. So at the back aspect, we are going to remove that one and a half inch so that at the side, when joining it, it will be equal at the side and for you to remove that one and a half inch you will need to remove it from the waist line so you you know at the front aspects so this is the front aspect here the waist line i use at the front aspect you can see the waist line i use at the front aspect is 16 and a half this is it 16 and a half you can see it so I will minus one and a half inch from my 16 and a half. So I will minus one and a half inch from my 16 and a half for me to get my measurement at the back aspect. So if I should minus one and a half inch from 16 and a half, that will give me 15 inches. So at the back aspect, I will be making use of 15 inches for the waistline. So you come here, you can see. So this is 15 inches for my waist line. You can see it. So because of the side that that we use are the front aspects. So you need to remove that side that from the length so that the length at the side will be equal. So this is it. You can see it. So I have 15 inches here. You can see. So this is 15 inches for my waist line. So that's how to remove your side dart from the back aspect so you can see it so this is it so now for the dart so you come to the waist line you can see i make use of one inch that same one inch that we use at the front aspect so and at the bust line this is the bust line you go upward by one inch at the back aspect you know this is the back aspect you go upward by one inch at the back aspect so that's why i'm coming up here you can see so this is it so you need to draw the darts from here down to the waist and at the down aspect here the way we did at the front so i go upward by three inches here so and i shape my darts to hit you can see it so and the neck i'm using at the back aspect i come down by one inch for the depth and three inches for the width the same three inches that i use at the front aspect that are the same three inches that i'm using at the back aspect also so you can see the arm o so at the back arm o you won't come inward by one inch so this is the back arm o so you shape it this way you look for the midpoint so you can see after my shoulder slope, I look for the midpoint, so three and a half, same thing. Now for our princess that at the back aspect from here, I will shape it to this point. So you shape it from here to this point. You see? This is it. Blend it. You can see it, so you blend it. To, so you can see so now i'll come here i'll measure two inches here yeah i'll measure two inches from here to here so this is two inches because if you did not add these two inches to it it will shorten when joining your pieces together as when joining the two pieces together this side will be shortened as in the this side will be shortened so it won't be equal so that's the reason why we need to add this to it so that everything will be equal so you can see it so this is it so now i'll come here from here so from this point i'll create another so you draw from this point so you draw another line to meet the You can see it. So we draw another line to meet it. So now we will be creating our new arm O. So create our new arm O now. So this is our new arm O. 
on the back as it. So you can see, so this is it. So now I will be cutting it out. Now you come to the waistline. At the waistline here, I have four inches. You can see. So I'll be making use of one and a half for this side, and I will make use of two and a half for this side. For this side. So that's how I'm going to do. So I'll come downward. Here. I have six inches. So you divide it into two. You make use of three inches. You can see. So here. So and here. So, yeah, I'll measure what I have here. I have four inches, so I'll be making use of one and a half here. So, one and a half. So, I'll straighten it to here. So, you shape it to this side. This is it. So, I will be cutting it out. So, this is the back aspect of our. So, you can see the side. Let's confirm the side. So, this is the side. This is the side of the front aspect, and this is the side of the back aspect. So, you can see when I place it together, you can see what I have. So, you can see it. So, this is it. You can see. So, same length. So this is it. So for the goddess, so for the goddess is this. So you are going to have eight pieces of this. You know, this side will have three pieces at this side, and we'll have three pieces at this side for the back aspect, making six pieces. So and you have two pieces at each each side, one here, one here, one here, one here. So that means you are adding eight, you are adding four goddess to the back aspect and four goddess to the front aspect so we are adding eight of this to this blouse so you know you are cutting three three pieces we, we draft it and we cut three three pieces but when placing it on the main fabric you cut two, two pieces of this you have it in two two pieces when placing it on the main fabric you cut two pieces of this and two pieces of this on the main fabric so, and you cut eight pieces of this on your main fabric. So, and you had your necessary allowance to it. Don't forget to do that. You had the necessary allowance that you remove. So, the inches that you remove from the waist, from the under bust, so you had it back to it when placing it on the main. You had it to this side, this side on this side. And the allowance that you are using, maybe one inch or two inch, but don't let the allowance be too much. One inch or one and a half is okay. So for the allowance at the side, but this center one, you had your half inch all round. You had your half inch to it all round. So for the joining, you had your half inch to it for the joining, and you add your half inch to the shoulder also here at the upper head. But at the arm O, you don't need to add your half inch to the arm O. So that's all about the cutting of our blouse with goddess. If you find this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you have any question or suggestion, you can drop it in the comment section below. Kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching. Bye.